In this video, you'll learn how to find wholesale suppliers without Alibaba. Alibaba is not the only game in town and there are much better alternatives out there. Now, Alibaba is super convenient for finding factories and suppliers in China, but it's not the only game in town. In fact, many Chinese suppliers cannot be found on Alibaba and you're severely limiting your options by relying on Alibaba for all of your product sourcing needs. For example, every wholesale supplier that we use for our seven-figure online handkerchief store is not on Alibaba. Now, the main benefit of Alibaba is that you can quickly access thousands of suppliers and products with a simple search, and the interface is intuitive, easy to use, and you can get full audit reports on any factory on the platform. But the main disadvantage of Alibaba is that everyone buys from Alibaba. The best suppliers are often not on Alibaba because they already have an established customer base and don't want to deal with random inquiries. In addition, Alibaba is flooded with middlemen and trading companies, so you have to sort through a sea of suppliers before you find a good one. Now to expand your wholesale supplier search, here are my favorite Alibaba alternatives that are as good or better. Alibaba alternative number one is Global Sources. Global Sources is a leading online Chinese supplier directory that connects buyers with suppliers all over the world. With over 1.5 million suppliers, Global Sources is considered one of Alibaba's main competitors that specializes in electronics and accessories. Now overall, the suppliers on Global Sources tend to be more established and higher quality than Alibaba, and as a result, the minimum order quantities will often be higher. Now in addition to their supply directory, Global Sources also offers a wide range of value-added services such as product sourcing, market research, and logistics to help buyers get the most out of their sourcing experience. And twice a year, they also run the Global Sources Summit, which is one of the best sourcing trade shows in the world next to the Canton Fair. So here are the pros of Global Sources. They're the second largest supplier directory next to Alibaba. It's quick and easy to find suppliers online. They have higher quality suppliers compared to Alibaba, and they have better suppliers for electronics than Alibaba. They also hold their own supplier trade show in Hong Kong twice a year. And I would say that Global Sources Summit Conference is a must attend. But here are the downsides. The minimum order quantities tend to be higher than Alibaba on average, and Global Sources is smaller than Alibaba in terms of the number of suppliers. Alibaba alternative number two is going to the Canton Fair. The Canton Fair, held in Guangzhou, China, is one of the largest trade shows in the world for businesses looking to source products from China. And the fair is split into three phases, with each phase featuring a different range of products. Phase one is electronics and machinery, phase two is building materials and home furnishings, and phase three is gifts and toys. Now, going to the Canton Fair is my favorite way to find China wholesale suppliers because you can touch and see actual product samples, you can meet the factories face to face, you can find factories not on Alibaba, and you will be working with real factories and not middlemen. Now, the Canton Fair attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors from all over the world, and it's a great opportunity to see the latest products and trends from China. It's also an excellent way to meet potential suppliers and manufacturers directly and negotiate deals right on the spot. Here are the pros. You can meet hundreds of factories in the span of just a week. You can see and touch actual product samples. You can find factories not on Alibaba, and you can negotiate and close deals on the spot. Here are the downsides of the Canton Fair. You gotta travel to China, and hotel and airfare can be expensive. Alibaba alternative number three is to use an import database. Now, every sea shipment into the United States is documented on the US import records, and you can browse these records to find out the exact factories that any company uses. Now the Jungle Scout Supplier Database is a tool that allows you to search this import record to see what any company is importing in the US and in what quantities, the exact factories that are being used, how often any company imports by sea, and here's a demo over here on how to use Jungle Scout to find the suppliers that your competition is using. And in the show notes below, there's actually a coupon where you can save 30% on the tool. Now here are the pros of using the import database. It's very easy to find who your competitors are using as a factory. You can approximate the sales volume for any company. You can get product ideas by seeing what other companies are importing as well. Here are the downsides. The tools to access the database cost money. These factories might be large and not be willing to work with you. And then companies can also hide their information from the public record. Alibaba alternative number four is to use a China sourcing agent. A China sourcing agent is a consultant that connects you with factories in China to produce your products. And they typically live in China and help you locate manufacturers that cannot be found on Alibaba. Now, a good China sourcing agent will have a strong network of trusted factories, freight forwarders, and inspection companies to make your sourcing experience simple and easy. So for example, they will pre-screen factories for quality. 
They will negotiate on your behalf. They will communicate with factories in fluent Chinese. They help with quality control and they will find you low cost freight forwarders to deliver your products. Now, depending on the agent or service, a China sourcing agent typically charges 5% of your cost of goods. Here are the pros to using an agent. You find pre-vetted companies without doing any work. You can find factories not in Alibaba. You can negotiate better pricing and you have a trusted person on the ground in China. Here are the downsides though. It costs money and you cannot bypass the agent and work with the factory directly. And sometimes there are possible backdoor deals between the agent and the factory. Alibaba alternative number five is Made in China. Madeinchina.com is an online directory that connects Chinese manufacturers and suppliers with international buyers. Now the Made in China site offers a wide range of products from electronics and machinery to clothing and home decor. Buyers can browse through a huge catalog of over 40 million products, request quotes, and place orders directly with suppliers. Made in China also offers a number of value added services such as quality control and logistics. And compared to Alibaba and global sources, Made in China is the third largest B2B platform in China. However, they offer more industrial and construction based products than any other supplier directory. Now all the suppliers on Made in China are verified for quality and you can view a full supplier audit report to get more information about every vendor. Here are the pros for Made in China. They are the third largest supplier directory next to Alibaba. It's a quick and easy way to find suppliers online. They have the largest directory of industrial and construction based suppliers in China. Here are the downsides though. Made in China is smaller than Alibaba and global sources. Made in China suppliers tend to be more expensive than Alibaba. Alibaba alternative number six is ThomasNet. ThomasNet is an online resource for finding and connecting with manufacturers and suppliers in the United States. Their website includes a search engine that allows users to search for specific products and services, as well as a directory of manufacturers, suppliers, and distributors. They also have a forum where users can ask questions and share information about their experiences with various suppliers. Now to find suppliers on ThomasNet, all you got to do is enter your product into the search bar. You can search by keyword, product type, or company name, and you can narrow down your results by location, industry, or certifications. So overall, ThomasNet is a great way to find factories in the United States. Here are the pros. It's easy to find factories in the US. You can interact with other sellers on the forum. There's a fast turnaround time because you're dealing with US suppliers and there's no language barrier. Here are the downsides though. The prices are more expensive than China and ThomasNet is significantly smaller than Alibaba. The next Alibaba alternative is DHgate. DHgate is an online marketplace that connects Chinese manufacturers and wholesalers with buyers from all over the world. They offer a wide range of products, including electronics, clothing, shoes, and more. Now, unlike Alibaba, the majority of sellers on DHgate are individual businesses and not factories. As a result, DHgate is not good for finding private label suppliers. However, it's a great place to source a variety of products at low minimum order quantities to test the market. Here are the pros of DHgate. Low minimum order quantities on products. You have a buyer protection program, which ensures all purchases. There's end to end tracking and there's a large variety of products. Here's the downside though. Quality control is poor and the merchandise tends to be cheap. The next Alibaba alternative is TradeKey. Now TradeKey is a business business marketplace that connects Chinese companies with international buyers and suppliers. Founded in 2006, they have over 9.6 million members from over 225 countries and they offer a suite of tools and services to help businesses find and connect with international buyers and suppliers, including product and company directories, trade leads, and a secure messaging system. They also offer a range of value added services such as market research, trade show promotion, and web design and development. Here are the pros of TradeKey. It's a quick and easy way to find suppliers online and they have a large directory of Chinese sellers. But the downside is TradeKey is significantly smaller than Alibaba and to be honest with you, their website looks like it was designed in the 90s. But it gets the job done. Next Alibaba alternative is EC21. Now EC21 is a leading global B2B marketplace connecting buyers with suppliers all over the world with over 2.5 million registered users from over 190 countries. They offer a wide range of product categories including chemicals, electronics, food and beverages, health and beauty, minerals, and packaging and paper. Now on the EC21 website, you can post trade leads, buying requests, and view supplier company profiles. Buyers can find products by just using the search bar, browsing through product categories, or by creating a buyer request. You can also find suppliers by searching through the supplier directory or attending one of EC21's many trade shows. Now EC21 is open to all companies and the website is free to use. Here are the pros. It's a quick and easy way to find suppliers. They have a large directory of Chinese sellers and you can actually post buying requests and have the sellers respond. 
But the downside is that EC21 is significantly smaller than Alibaba, and there's no real vetting process for sellers. The next alternative is eWooGo. eWooGo is the official supplier directory of the eWoo market, the world's largest small commodities market located in eWoo, China. Now, more than 1.8 million different products are sold in the eWoo market, which is divided into five districts with over 10,000 shops generating over 5 million in transactions per day. Now, this market was established in the 80s and has become a major hub for small commodity trade in China. It is actually a major destination for domestic and foreign buyers, and it's known for its low prices and wide variety of goods. Now, this market is open all year round and is busiest during the Chinese New Year and autumn fair periods. Now, they specialize in jewelry, toys, clothing, shoes, and bags, and other products that carry a low dollar value. Think dollar store products. The minimum order quantity is low at around 10 pieces, and you are responsible for shipping and negotiating with suppliers. Here are the pros of eWoo. It's a quick and easy way to find suppliers online, and there's a directory of over 10,000 Chinese sellers. The downside is that it's significantly smaller than Alibaba. There's no real vetting process for sellers. The products are cheap and poor quality, and there's a relatively small variety of products compared to Alibaba. Next Alibaba alternative is 1688. 1688 is an online supplier directory that's actually owned by Alibaba that caters to Chinese businesses. Now, in fact, 1688 is nearly identical to Alibaba, but targeted towards Chinese customers. And the site offers a wide range of products, including electronics, machinery, apparel, and more. And everything on 1688 is in Chinese though. So you'll need the help of a translator or Google Translate to understand the website. So overall, it's a clone of Alibaba, except in Chinese, and you'll find many of the same products and suppliers on the platform. But be careful when using 1688 because the standards of quality are lower in China compared to the US and the EU. Many suppliers on 1688 are also not accustomed to exporting products to foreign countries, but the prices will be cheaper than Alibaba. Here are the pros of 1688. Quick and easy way to find suppliers online, there's a huge directory of Chinese sellers. The prices are lower than Alibaba. Here are the downsides. The website is in Chinese, the products are lower quality, and the suppliers may not be used to exporting to the US. The next Alibaba alternative is China Brands. China Brands is a leading global dropship supplier from China and a light bulk wholesaler for businesses of all sizes. They source their products from a network of reliable suppliers and employ a team of professional buyers who negotiate the best possible prices. Now, because China Brands is a dropshipper, they ship merchandise directly to your end customer with your logo, which means you don't have to invest in stock. Now, overall, China Brands offers over a million products across different categories like apparel, jewelry, home goods, and auto parts. Here are the pros. There are no minimum order quantities on products, and they are probably the best Chinese supplier for drop shipping next to AliExpress. There's a large variety of products, and the shipping is relatively cheap, and some products can be customized. The downside, though, is that shipping from China is slow, the merchandise is unbranded, and can be of poor quality. The next Alibaba alternative is China Vision. China Vision is a wholesale marketplace that specializes in selling Chinese-made electronics and other consumer goods to international markets. The company was founded in 2004 with the goal of providing quality goods at competitive prices, and today it offers a wide range of electronics such as cell phones, tablets, computers, home appliances, and more. Now, products can be purchased directly from the China Vision website, and there's no minimum order quantity, and they also carry famous Chinese brands like Huawei and Xiaomi. Here are the pros. There's no minimum order quantities. They have a large variety of electronic products with real Chinese brands. There's a one-year warranty on products, but the downside is that shipping is expensive and quality can be poor. Now, the point of this video is to tell you that there's more out there than Alibaba. While Alibaba is a great place to source products for sale, it's not the only place to look, and in many cases, it's not even the best place. The biggest downside of using Alibaba is that everyone uses Alibaba. Now, by going down the road less traveled, and using the sourcing methods in this video, you can find suppliers that no one else is using, which will give you a competitive advantage. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.